they said that divine masculine is channeling you, the one that left you for somebody else. And he's saying that I knew better than to go through with getting married. But the, this is the thing. The karmic had her own agenda when trying to come, like, come for divine feminine. And divine masculine was already emotional. You know, he a man. He getting tempted by whatever. You know, he not understanding that because he's receiving everything that he's manifesting, that it's a game. Because there's no way that every time you manifest something from somebody else, that is spot on that they do it. Um, like, like every single time. But that still falls in line with when that person does it, it's how they do it. So it's like you could buy one, you could be talking about something and the karmic goes out and she does it. But then when you do it, it's like totally, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like the fake version of the, the manifestation. And then divine feminine gives the real, no, but uh, what else did they say? That he's lost and he's trying to find his way back. So he's trying to do the right thing. So therefore you can help him because he's realizing that he was being manipulated. And he was um, caught up in the karmic's ways of defending him and fighting for him and protecting for him and all the stuff like that. Stuff that he used to fall for until he grew some sense. Because it's like he was starting to see like, I don't know. The, the like he knew when divine feminine left <laughs> but okay so there was a phone call made and divine masculine and the karmic were present and the karmic was taking over most of the conversation and i'm calling to talk to him this ain't got nothing to do with you so why are you talking it's because she had a mission to fulfill she was trying to get she, like like this lady she was she made a TikTok of going to a, the hospital to try to figure out if she was pregnant, but their motive was trying to get her to be a, a subject, a study subject or whatever. It's like, I come here for one thing, but you put the focus and directive on another thing to try to, you know, because had it been just between divine masculine and divine feminine, divine feminine would have transferred information to him and it would have quickly been done. So with the whole marriage thing, he's saying, I only did that to see if I can make you jealous because you say you could get over me. If you were over me, this me proposing to her wouldn't mean nothing to you. So with the whole test of getting married, he was saying it's going to take time and eventually I could just tell her, I don't want to do it no more. That's what took me so long, blah, blah, blah. But in his emotional state, because Divine Feminine never responded or showed that it bothered her, or said nothing about it or nothing, that's because Divine Feminine had left already. Um, or something like that. And then a little bit after Divine Feminine found out who the real father of the child was, the reason why Divine Feminine was attached to Divine Masculine. Um, that's when Divine Feminine removed herself completely from the connection and that's when the Karmic Feminine had to show herself and that's when Divine Masculine started falling out of love with her because it's like you're not showing me the attention that I need and then um, that's when the female will start attacking you spiritually or trying to insult you or try to cause problems in your life or that's when they'll send fake people into you and be like look see she already moved on she in a relationship she did that and third she happy with him and blah 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 whole time y'all not even talking yeah you pregnant with his child but y'all not even talking he you pregnant with his child but he don't even know that you pregnant with his child like like compared to divine masculine knowing when divine feminine thought it was his baby compared to when the karmic masculine found out when divine feminine found out it, you feel me but you know, so that just shows a difference of when Divine Feminine is describing who she's still attached to. That's why these karmics feel like they messed up because they felt that they could do the same thing to Divine Feminine. You know, but it's like, <sighs> anywho, 
I just had to say that because it's like this divine masculine is coming back around. He's not coming back in the physical form. He's coming back in the in the whatever. In the, like yeah, like he's trying to con contact like he's healing. So his emotions are out of the way. So now he's trying to contact Divine Feminine again. But Divine Feminine had him blocked. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is all so funny because why? And then it was, uh, uh, it had been like, damn, almost a year since I've been on his page. And I just went back on his page again. And uh, po again, post that he was making was relevant to the downloads that I was receiving. And it's like, why am I receiving downloads about this person if we're not, you know, you know, he happy with his girl and I'm over there. So <laughs> he said, what's that? Da -da -da? You over there happy with that nigga? No, I'm over here single, I'm ready to mingle. If I just talking about, but you know, he got to go through the process of, uh oh, with the marriage, he said, he married her to try to, or he proposed, and they were supposed to be fiancés, but he was so heartbroken that Divine Feminine didn't respond, and he couldn't connect with her, and he was hearing stuff about her and Karmic Masculine and all that stuff like that, and it's like, dang, for real, really, I know that you don't feel that way, so he basically went into his mold thinking that Divine Feminine was trying to make him jealous.